Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll take you through the CSS masking properties. CSS masking plays a vital role when it comes to masking an image or an element on a web page. In this video tutorial, we are going to see the syntax and usage of the CSS masking properties. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple programming videos. So if you are a programmer and if you want to learn something new, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's get started. So before we move on to the programming part, let's understand what CSS masking is. CSS masking or image masking in CSS refers to the technique of hiding or revealing specific positions or portions of an element based on a specified shape or image. So there are several ways to achieve masking in CSS, including the masking property. So there are different types of masking properties, which are mask image, mask size, mask position, mask repeat and mask mode. Fine. So these are the properties we have in CSS masking. So we'll go through these properties one by one in the later part. But before that, let me take you through a simple example of what CSS image masking is. So what we'll do is we'll create a div tag here with a class named as container. And inside this, we are going to add an image. So let's say we have an image present in the images folder named as galaxy.png. And we'll write here galaxy.png. We'll use the alt attribute or let's say I'm writing over here galaxy and that's it. The image is here on the browser. Now we need to mask it. So we need to show a specific area from this image, right? So that this image is quite large. So this is the original image. You guys must have seen it. Now what we'll do is we'll use this okay, container. Fine. This is the class we have. Now inside this, we are going to mask this image means we'll show a specific area of this image using another image. So what we'll do is we'll write over here mask image and URL we have to add for an another picture. So we have the, a photo named black.png inside a images folder, save it. And here you can see nothing happens. So this mask image property is not working. It will work if I'll write here webkit dash webkit dash mask image now save it and here you can see we have this image fine so the image is masked we can set the size the area the position of this mask so for now it's looking good right it's present at the bottom right corner now what we can do is we can use here mask position mask position let's say i'm writing over here center of the image save it nothing happens again and we'll write over here dash webkit. So this webkit we have used here is a rendering engine used by our most beloved uh, browsers, which, is, which are Safari and Chrome. Now save this program and here you can see the masking size changed. Fine. We can define the mask size as well. So if I write here dash webkit dash mask size and if I am writing here 250 pixels to 250 pixels, let's see if it works or not. Save it and here you can see there are several masks present. If we want only one mask, WebKit, WebKit will remain there. So if your program is not working uh, with normal properties, just try adding WebKit if you are using Safari or Chrome. So we'll write over here mask repeat and if i'm writing here no repeat save it here you can see there is only one mask so the image size is quite large that's why it's not clearly visible to you guys so here you can see this is the actual size of the image at 100 percent zoom in our browser so yeah this is how we can use masking in css now we have other properties as well so if we see if we have another property is the mask mode let's see if it works or not web okay we'll write over here this mask mode and here you can see if i write here luminance nothing happens and if i add webkit over here save it and still nothing happened so this mask mode property and here you can see nothing happens with this property so if i write here 
uh, if I use any other value of this property then maybe there are other values as well for this property so it's not easy guys to un remember each and every property in CSS and we have auto so auto we can use maybe save it and just use webkit hyphen over here and here you can see nothing happens so this property is so basically the mask mode property controls how the mask interacts with the elements including whether it's used as an alpha mask or as a luminance mask so if i write here alpha save it so here you can see it's still not working maybe there's some issue with the property or this property is not related to the image we have used so let me explain all these properties here so the mask image property specifies the image to be used as the mask and the mask size property so which is the third property we have used it sets the size of the mask the mask position property specifies the position of the mask determines how the mask should be repeated so the last one is the mask mode property controls how the mask interacts with the element including whether it's as an alpha mask or as a luminance mask so with these properties we can create complex masking effects such as rounded corners polygonal shapes and even reveal images based on user interaction so here you can you saw an example of revealing an image now additionally we can also use svg images as masks which opens up even more possibilities for creating unique and interesting effects so it's worth noting that css masking is not supported by all the browsers like you you have seen here we have to use the webkit engine so it's important to test your designs across different devices and browsers to ensure they work as intended so before we finish this video let me just take you through another example let me just so here's an image i'll set the width and height of the container to let's say 200 pixels and height as well as 200 pixels save it so it's for the container i'll write here img let's set the height of img height and width of img 100 percent i'll use and for height as well 100 percent i'll use so here you can see this is our image now we have fixed the height and width of our image now what we'll do is we'll write here background color as okay let's use this color the gray one so here you can see the color is of course not completely visible right now now what we'll do is we'll write over here webkit mask image and now what we are going to do is we are going to show you how to add rounded corners so i'll write over here radial gradient you guys we have already we already have one video on gradients in css so you guys can go through it to understand this property now we'll use an ellipse at center this is the first value then we'll define the rgb values which are going to be 0, 0, 0, 0001 for the first one and then we'll define 0 percent we'll have to define the percent as well for the radial blur and or we can say radial masking then we'll write here rgba another set of values which are going to be 0000, 0, 0, 0. and then we have to write here 70 percent mine now save the program to see if it's working or not so here you can see the example it's an effect of masking it's rounded looks like a galaxy uh, looks like a another earth we can say so yeah this is how we can use css masking similarly we can create polygonal shapes as well so that's the task for you guys is to create the polygonal shape using the same image masking technique so i hope you guys must have got a good idea about css image masking by now and if you feel that we have missed out on some important topic that we were supposed to cover or if you still feel that you have doubt related to any of the topics we have covered in this video then please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below and we'll definitely answer them for you so that's all for the video guys thank you so much for being here we'll see you next time with some other videos on css until then keep coding and stay tuned to simply code thank you